Installing Deltec Floor Sheathing Sublayer. Installation of the floor sheathing on the Deltec floor system requires two layers of 5/8 inch CDX plywood sheathing. The sublayer is pre-cut in pieces that will form a pie shape when applied and is supplied by Deltec. The top layer will be laid in standard rectangular sheets and is to be supplied by the contractor. Floor sheathing bundles are identified with a part number that identifies where that particular sheet is to be placed. See the floor truss layout sheet in the construction plans for sheathing part number and corresponding placement. The floor sheathing is installed from the exterior ring of sheathing inward. Begin with this first row of sheathing. These should be the largest pieces of sheathing in the bundle. Apply a 3 8 inch bead of the provided subfloor adhesive to the floor truss top core. Install the pre-cut sheet over the adhesive. Align and tack all four corners. Continue in either direction, repeating these same steps until the perimeter section of sheathing is complete. Use a string line from the benchmark center to the outside of the top ribbon board to straighten the jacks and center the trusses as required. Mark the truss locations on the plywood for nailing alignment. After two rows of sheathing has been applied, install the Simpson TB steel cross bracing using two 10D by one and a half inch nails at each end. On the 300 to 1200 models, there is one row of Simpson TB bracing at mid-span of the truss. On 1500 to 2500 models, there are two rows at third points on the truss length, spaced at 10 foot maximum. The bracing is nailed to the top of one truss and to the bottom of the next. At this point, nail only the top of the bracing. The bottom will be nailed after the plywood sheathing has been installed. It is important to leave a gap between the straps to ensure they do not rub against each other and cause a squeaky floor in the future. The perimeter sheathing can be nailed using the pattern specified on the construction drawings once the perimeter is complete. Continue installing subfloor sheathing. Apply sheathing in rows, working from the outer perimeter end. Applying the sheathing in rows allows you to straighten and adjust the trusses as you go. As you get to the center, place the steel center floor plate. Confirm that sufficient space is left in the center of the sheathing to allow room for the center plate. The steel plate should rest on the top cords of the trusses. Any required trimming of the sheathing should be done now. Wait to secure floor plate until all leveling adjustments have occurred. The plate should be installed with a center forming a depression so that the 24 inch by 3 quarter inch diameter threaded rod extends up through the center hole. Apply the 3 quarter inch nut to the threaded rod and tighten until snug tight. This clamps the entire truss system down to the center support. Note that if a support pole is required for levels above, a floor pole adapter will be required and should be installed prior to the floor plate. Be sure to consult your construction documents. Finish nailing the subfloor sheathing before the adhesive fully sets. Use specified nails and spacing. Nail the bottoms of the Simpson TB steel cross bracing, pulling the bracing tight before nailing. Install the hurricane ties supplied with a package. Use one per truss or as shown on the construction drawings. Attach to the bottom cord of the truss and down the face of the framing member below. Fill all the holes with nails as recommended in the manufacturer's instructions. This will tie the truss down to the sill plate or lower wall panel. The top layer of floor sheathing will be applied after wall panels are set. See construction documents for more details.